Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be demonstrating, doing comparisons with four, that's right, four shades of the new highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna be using it on my cheeks, I'm gonna be using it on my eyes and I'm going to be sharing some swatches and comparisons and all of the information with all of my existing Charlotte Tilbury highlighters to see if you already have have something similar and which of these shades might work best for you if you're still trying to decide between all of these highlighters. Seven, there are seven to choose from. So without further ado, let's get started. So Charlotte Tilbury has blessed us with seven shades of highlighter. These will set you back £38 or $48 and you get seven grams of product, which is a fairly standard amount of product for a highlighter. The Hollywood Superstar Glow, which was a massive oversized highlighter is 10 grams. The Pillow Talk Multi Glows that were released last year are also seven grams. And then the Magic Star highlighter was also 10 grams, but I think that is a weightier like formula because it is a smaller compact, same size as the Multi Glows, but is just heavier. So I think that's a pretty standard amount of product. These do appear to be permanent and they do have the little pinhole in the back and they are a little loose in the pan, which tells me that I'm pretty sure refills will be coming for this very soon. So these are described as a pressed powder with a satin texture that features light reflecting multi-dimensional glow and is suitable for use around the eye area as well well as the face. It can be applied wet or dry depending on the finish and the amount of glow that you desire and they feature pressed pearls with no glitter. Sounds right up my street. So the seven shades that are available are Moonlit Glow, which is described as an incandescent ivory, can be used on anybody, but is especially suited for fair to medium skin tones. Next, we have Champagne Glow, described as a sparkling champagne. Again, suitable for all fair to medium skin tones. Next, of course, we have Pillow Talk Glow, which is a neutral pearly pink and works on all skin tones. Then we have Gilded Glow, which is described as a true gold and is most suitable for medium to deep skin tones. Then we have Sunset Glow, which is a golden copper, most suitable for those with medium to deep skin tones. Then we have Rose Gold Glow, which is a true rose gold, most suited for tan to deep skin tones. And finally, we have Bronze Glow, which is described as a golden bronze, most suited to those with a deep skin tone. So I picked up four shades because I wasn't really sure which shade would work best for me. I also wanted to make sure I could give you some options and show you several of these highlighters in action. So the shades that I chose were Champagne Glow, Pillow Talk Glow, Gilded Glow and Rose Gold Glow, which I anticipated to use as a very glowy blush. For skin tone reference, my foundation shades are always listed in the description box, winter and summer shades, but currently I am around in MAC NC30, uh, NARS Vanuatu is the shade I'm using. Today I have Hourglass Shade 8 foundation on. I'm like a uh, tawny in Estee Lauder. Hopefully that's going to give you kind of an, a benchmark as to what these highlighters look like on my skin tone. I say I'm like light medium to medium in winter. And yeah, so hopefully that will help you if you're around my skin tone. So I've given you a taste of the swatches of these highlighters. I will be doing comparisons with a ton of existing Charlotte Tilbury highlighters at the end of the video. But first, let's try these on my face and my eyes and see which shades we like, how it works, and how I get on with these new highlighters. Okay, so on this cheek, I'm gonna go in with Champagne Glow and my Sonia G Fan Pro. Okay, oh, 
I was, <laughs> I was expecting this to be a lot more subtle, so I shall know for next time. <laughs> we need to use a lighter hand. That being said, I literally whacked so much on there because I was expecting a real understated, like lit from within glow. And so I definitely went way overboard. And this is definitely a bit light for me. As I turn my face, you can see it looks a bit gray. And just when on the side, it just looks very, very, bright and stark for my skin tone. So I think that one is gonna be like a little light. So I am glad that I held Gilded Glow off because I think this is gonna be the one that's going to be better for me. And this time I'll go with a slightly lighter hand. And straight away, because the color is a lot better for me, it's just looking a lot more natural and it's just melting into the skin a lot better than the champagne glow, which was just too bright for my skin tone. Definitely a much more sort of natural luminosity than the champagne shade. I'm just gonna use my Sonia G buffer to kind of tone this down and work this into the skin a little more lightly, like the other side, so we can kind of do a more fair comparison between the two shades, because I definitely went heavier on this side before I knew what we were working with. So now this is much more sort of naturally melted into the skin rather than like sitting on top of that light cast, but you can still see, I think, that it, the shade is just too light. It's definitely giving me a bit of a gray, cast which is a sure sign that the highlight is too light whereas on this side the gilded glow is melting beautifully into the skin and doesn't have that cast when i kind of look forwards so now i'm going to use the pillow talk shade kind of everywhere else on my skin i'm going to use this above the brows cupid's bow chin and down the bridge of my nose. That's a really pretty shade as well. I think I could definitely use this shade as well at the moment, and I think that will work really nicely. I think Champagne Glow was just a little too light. Okay, and then we have the Rose Gold Glow, which is the one that I'm hoping will make quite a nice, very glowy blush. So I'm using my Sonia G Fusion Detail brush for this one as I'm going to use this more of a glowy blush. Oh, that is pretty. I was worried after the swatches that it was a bit too sort of bronzy as opposed to like the peachier look I was expecting. I think that's a pretty blush actually. I think that's so pretty, really, really pretty, just kind of hint of something, but super glowy, of course, slightly emphasizing my texture, especially using the deeper shade as a blush because I'm, you know, using it more on like the apple on my cheeks as opposed to quite strategically applying highlighter, but really not dramatically at all. It's given me gorgeous luminosity. Like any highlighter is going to slightly emphasize texture really, but this is really nice and healthy glowing skin with really minimal texture. Very pretty. As the description says that these can also be used around the eye area, I really want to use this as eyeshadow today and see how they look on the eye. So I'm gonna go in with Champagne Glow. I've got a little bit of bronzer in the crease and that's it on my eye. So I'm gonna go in with this one. I think this would make a pretty champagne one and done shadow. These can also be used wet, which I haven't today because I am about the sort of luminous glow as opposed to really high metallic shine. But obviously you could do that, especially if you were using it as a shadow. They can be used wet for extra oomph. 
Okay, so here is a good old close-up. So we have champagne glow on this side, gilded glow on this side, pillow talk is like everywhere else on my face. And then we have rose gold glow used as a blush and then champagne glow on my eyes, which I think works really prettily and beautifully. Definitely now I've kind of put some blush on this side and given everything a really good buff. I could definitely use this shade. It's just going to need to be lighter hand, a bit more careful, a bit more strategic with it. But yeah, I definitely think if you were gonna choose one shade to kind of use everywhere, I would go for Gilded Glow if you're around my skin tone. I think Pillow Talk would work as well, but this would be the one that I would recommend for a more natural working with my skin tone and kind of melting into my skin tone. That's the closest one. I think just when I look forward, this side is working better than this side, even though I had to do a bit of work to get this to look a little less crazy for me. Okay, so now let's take a look at some comparison swatches with some existing Charlotte Tilbury highlighters. So first up, the new shades, we have Champagne Glow, Pillow Talk Glow, Gilded Glow, and Rose Gold Glow. Next, let's swatch the Superstar highlighter. I'll do that one at the front because it's not going to be similar to the deeper ones. That one appears to be like way more subtle, I think. These all seem to have a bit more pigment and a bit more glow to them. Next up, the Magic Star highlighter. So that one seems a little more like a thicker texture to it and definitely a bit more shine than the new ones. Next, the Pillow Talk Multi Glow powders. This is the deeper shade and the lighter shade. So we have the light shade and the deeper shade. Not 100% sure what you'll be able to see on camera, but these have a lot more sort of glitter particles visible in them than, well, any of the other highlighters. Those were my least favorite, I think, that Charlotte Tilbury have released. Next, let's take a look at the highlighting and blush shades from the Nudegasm palette. So the blush in the Nudegasm shade is actually kind of close to like the Gilded Glow. It's almost between the Gilded and the Rose Gold Glow. So I'm running out of arm space, so I'm going to wipe the comparisons off that we've done so far and do some more on a clean arm. So I've kept the new swatches on, so we still have Champagne, Pillow Talk, Gilded Glow and Rose Gold Glow. And we're going to compare the two highlighters out of the lighter Pillow Talk palette for holiday. So the deeper shade in there, the pinkier shade, is pretty close to the Pillow Talk shade, which is probably what you would expect as they, you know, are both Pillow Talk highlighters. Those are pretty close. And then the deeper shade of the Holiday palette. Nothing super similar to those, but they are quite similar formula-wise and like amount of shine, I would say, to those palettes. And then lastly, let's look at the highlighters out of the two Hollywood Bronze and Glow duos. I have both the light and the deep shade of the Bronze and Glow duos. Let's do the light shade up here. And the deep shade at the end. So again, the deep shade is kind of in between the Gilded Glow and the Rose Gold Glow. It's kind of closer to the Gilded Glow, I'd say. The lighter shade of the Hollywood Bronze and Glow, you can sort of barely see it there. It's much more subtle. It's close in color to the Champagne Glow, but much more subtle, softer formula. So there you have the swatches. 
okay, so there you have all of the swatches, demonstrations that your heart could possibly desire. What are my thoughts on these highlighters? Are they worth picking up? So I have a lot of thoughts, some good, some great, some not so great. First up, the packaging feels very light. I would have liked it to feel just slightly heavier, like weight wise, they definitely feel quite light in comparison even to the multi-glow packaging and they're not Th those aren't heavy. These are really quite light and thin, so they will store very nicely, but I wouldn't feel safe traveling with them, especially as, I don't know if you can hear, but because of the refillable nature of these, the product inside is really like loose. You can see it's like really moving about in there. So I don't love that. I do understand, you know, the intention of making it refillable means that you're not gluing the product down, but I feel like it could have had like a stronger magnet that would have held it in place. You know, I do have a lot of refillable products that don't sort of rattle and move about as you're just putting your brush in there. So that is just something that's you know a minor nitpicky thing but it is something I noticed they rattle and the product moves about in the compact because it has that refillable nature I feel like that could have been fixed I feel like it should have had a stronger magnet that kept it still in the pan but a minor thing. The product itself, some of the shades surprised me. I think it's really confusing when there are this many shades launched, which is amazing, like such an amazing range of shades across all skin tones that we don't usually see, or we don't see that often, seven permanent highlighters. Love that, love to see that inclusivity, a shade for everybody, but it does make it hard to choose your shade. So I do kind of wish that Charlotte Tilbury would perhaps like Pat McGrath does post some sort of oh Natasha Denona would probably be a better example because she's very good at posting like filter free live swatches on her stories leading up to launch I would love to see that because it is very hard to know which would be my best shade and most people just want to buy one they don't want to buy four like me so hopefully my swatches were helpful in that respect but it was kind of surprising I was not expecting champagne glow to be too light for me I thought that was going to be like my perfect winter shade but then it turned out that Gilded Glow, which I thought and was expecting to be like my summer shade, was the correct shade for me right now. So I think that it's really important to watch reviews and swatches of someone around your skin tone before picking your shade up because it could be the wrong one. So my recommendation if you're around my skin tone would definitely be Gilded Glow as a sort of everyday go-to shade. I absolutely love Rose Gold Glow as a blush. I wasn't really sure how it would work. I think from the swatches online, I was expecting it to be kind of peachier on the skin and it's maybe a bit more sort of coppery, which actually on my cheeks looked beautiful. And I just love how my skin looks today. It's very, very Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like my whole makeup today is very Charlotte Tilbury. It's super glowy, not a lot of color, but lots of glow. And I love how these looked on the eyes as well, using the champagne glow on my eyes I think just looked really pretty and again very Charlotte Tilbury very on brand I love the formula of these champagne glow definitely took me by surprise I was expecting them to be very very subtle and they're definitely not like the same amount of glow as say the rare beauty highlighters they're much more subtle and luminous than the Rare Beauty. They also give me a lot less texture than the Rare Beauty, but they are definitely a step up in glow from something like the Pat McGrath Divine Rose that was like my Holy Grail or the Chanel Rev de Camellia that are very subtle and sort of lit from within. These are, you know, not a lit from within. She's not wearing highlighter, but they also aren't like a metallic crazy strobe either they are kind of somewhere in between which I like I definitely found you know if I'd gone a bit lighter handed with the champagne glow initially then I could definitely wear that shade so I think a lot of these colors are going to be quite versatile and the pillow talk glow was the one that I didn't apply on my cheeks but I kind of wish I had the reason I didn't well one I only have two cheeks but two I feel like this is the one that lots of people have already picked up and reviewed so I felt like it would be more helpful to see some of the other shades that perhaps 
perhaps people have passed on versus the pillow talk which I feel like I've already seen several reviews featuring that shade but I think this might also be a really good shade for me right now I think I'll be able to use the rose gold in summer as more of a traditional highlighter but I just do think that gilded glow I'll be able to use all year round I love that you can use them wet and dry and yeah a really light hand small amount of product needed and you're going to get gorgeous glowy beautiful cheeks without adding too much texture which I really appreciate these are definitely going to become a new favorite I'm going to be keeping on playing with these for sure so there you have it that is all of my thoughts demonstrations and information on these new highlighters from Charlotte Tilbury please let me know if you have tried these if you've already got yours what shade you chose help each other out with your shades and your skin tone in the description box and your recommendations that's always super helpful I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I would love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.